Over the next few lessons, we're going to be looking at reversing multiplying out. Um, and today we're going to just start with uh, thinking about the distributive law and seeing if we can fill in the bits that are missing. Let's go back to what we did with numbers. Um, so way back when, you would have done stuff like what? 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So multiplying two numbers together can get you another number, right? 3 times 5 is 15. But at other points, you might be asked to split 15 up into factors. So you could then say, OK, well, I know that 15 is 3 multiplied by 5. And 3 and 5 are both factors of 15. There are other factors too, but 3 and 5 are factors. So what you've got here is multiplying out, and in this case it's kind of splitting it up into its factors. And exactly that process that you did with numbers, you can also do with algebra. So let me show you. Here is multiplying out when you're dealing with algebra. So we know that to multiply out here we use our distributive law. And so we get 3x plus 6. But we could equally well have been given 3x plus 6 to start with and be asked to factorize it. And in this case, we want to turn it into two things that are multiplied together. And in this case, it'll be 3 multiplied by x plus 2. So what we have are two processes, multiplying out and then the reverse process of multiplying out, which is called factorizing. I'm now going to give you some examples where I give you one of the factors and you have to try and find the other. So, for example, if I've got 10x plus 25y and it's equal to 5 multiplied by something, let's work out what that something is. Well, we know that we've got to do 5 multiplied by this and then 5 multiplied by that and end up with 10x plus 25y. So 5 multiplied by this first term has to give me 10x. We can think of it either saying 5 times what gives me 10x, and hopefully that's easy, 5 times 2x gives you 10x, or otherwise, because you know multiplication and division are related to each other, you could just say 10x divided by 5, which is 2x. And so you get your answer here of 2x. And then we also need know we need to say 5 multiplied by this must give you plus 25y. Well, the first thing we immediately know there's going to be a plus here. And 5 multiplied by what gives you 25y? It's going to be... 5y. could also have done it by saying 25y divided by 5, which is 5y. So here we have the factorized form. We have factorized this. OK, let's see if we can figure out what number needs to go here. So what number, when you multiply it by 2x minus 5, is going to lead you to this answer? Well, 2x multiplied by what is going to get you to minus 4x? It's going to have to be a negative 2. And then let's just check that we do still get the plus 10. So negative 2 multiplied by negative 5 does give me plus 10. So we know we've got this right. And in the next one, we ask ourselves what multiplied by minus x is going to give you 3x as the answer. Well, there's obviously going to have to be a 3 in it, but 3 multiplied by negative x is going to give you negative 3x, and we want positive 3x, so we must put a negative with it. So negative times negative is positive. So let's just check by multiplying out. Negative 3 multiplied by negative x does give me 3x, and negative 3 multiplied by positive 3 does give me negative 9. 